meet uh, Mohi Kontok. We are learning about the story of the Mohi Kontok. The Hudson River's ancient name is Mohi Kontok. When the river was born, a group of people believes that the lake tears of cloud was a moving rivers of ice and it was created during the last ice age in the Hudson Valley in New York. The most recent ice age, the North American glaciation existed approximately between 20 to 30,000 years back before the Christ was born. The other group of people named it in geological terms a drowned river the rising sea levels after the retreat of the Wisconsin glaciation have resulted in a marine incarnation incursion that drowned the coastal plain and brought salt water above the mouth of the river. The lake Tears of Cloud is located on the second highest peak among the Adirondack Mountain in upstate New York. The river runs along the border line of New York and New Jersey. It's a habitat of many sea animals. Hudson Canyon is a rich fishing area. What lives in the river? You can catch striped bass, weak fish, porgy, eels, and summer founder from May to November. A striped bass may weigh more than 40 pounds. The Hudson River is much more clean than in the past. Humpback whales have made a comeback in New York City. New York City is connected through not only George Washington Bridge, Tappan Zee Bridge, Bear Mountain Bridge, Hamilton Fish Bridge, Roosevelt Bridge, Kingston Bridge, and Rip Van Winkle Bridge. All these bridges are on Hudson River. The Hudson River is about 315 miles long and it is 4,322 feet above the sea level. The river is as deep as 200 feet in places during the maximum point of the last wise age. Glaciers covered about 32% of the total land of North America. The Hudson River is not a typical river. Hudson is actually a tidal estuary where salt water from the ocean combines with fresh water from the northern tributaries. And salt water travels from the mouth of New York Harbor to the Federal Dam in Troy in Albany, approximately 153 miles from south to north. The area around the Hudson River was inhabited by indigenous people ages before European arrives. The Algonquins lived along the river with the three subdivision of the group being called Lenape, was known as Delaware Indians and the uh, Wapigners who were living around Manhattan and the Mexicans. The name, they name the river Mohiconto. The meaning of the word Mohiconto is that the river that flows two ways. In Algonquin language, the meaning is the river that flows in two ways. The river pronounced Kahohatatia, the river, by the indigenous. And it was known as Mohikunetak, river that flows two ways. 
by the Mohican tribe who formerly inhabited both banks of the lower portion of the river. Who is Harson? The Dutch East India Company financed English navigator Henry Hudson in his search for the Northeast Northwest Passage. Northwest Passage. During the search, Hudson decided to sail his ship up the river that would later be named after him. When the navigator Henry Hudson arrived in New York in 1609, Hudson came through this river. Uh, the name was given Mohican to by the early American. He did not know. Maybe perhaps he know. He knew, but probably he did not know that the name of the river was given Mohiconto by the early American, just like Columbus did not know when Columbus arrived in America, he did not know that this is America. He knew that this, he reached India. So there are many wrong facts, many facts that we know is right but it's wrong that we don't know